Hi, thanks for joining today. Today we're going to look at a few examples of using curl, which is a command line utility which will allow you to um, make HTTP requests to Alfresco. And it is a, a Linux command line utility, however today I'm going to use Sigwin, um, which provides a lot of Linux capabilities on the, the Windows machines. Curl is a, it is a command line utility. It's very simple just to issue a, a simple HTTP request. You just type curl and then pass the URL that you want to call. However, um, there are a whole bunch of different command line um, options you can pass, um, and these are well documented um, in the man pages or uh, online. Um, we're going to use a couple of them today, and I'll point those out when we use them. But the simplest, obviously, is just to type curl and then type the URL that you want to call, and then you actually would get the page response back um, from the HTTP request. So today we're going to look at ways you could use curl to do some simple testing. If you're writing web scripts, you can write some basically curl scripts to uh, test to your web scripts with. Um, we're going to call some sort of out-of-the-box API calls in Alfresco as an example today, but you know this is generically applicable to any, any web script calls that you need to make. Um, so first thing we're going to look at is um, the web script index in Alfresco, and this is just a sort of vanilla installation of 415. And you can see if you go to um, Alfresco S index, you get the whole list of uh, web scripts that are deployed in an environment. Now, the, today we're going to look at just some of the admin scripts, and these are really useful because there's a couple of good examples. Um, so I've clicked into the admin family, and you can see we're going to look at um, get repository restrictions, which is a get request, and it requires guest level authentication. And then we're going to look at a repo usage update, and that actually requires a post, and it also requires admin authentication level. So two good different examples um, of you know one web script that allows for guest usage, and it will take a get, and one that is a post and requires admin level authentication. Um, the other level is user level, um, but it's similar to admin in the sense that you will need to have um, you know, authentication credentials. So it may not be obvious when you want to start, start using curl to call Alfresco, you know, how do you pass along credentials? Um, basically the easiest way to do that is to get an authentication ticket. And um, there is an API that Alfresco provides for that. Um, there's two ways to call it, either a get or a post, and I'm going to show both today. Um, but what you get back is a ticket that you can then use in subsequent calls. Now all of my demonstration today is going to be on the command line and just kind of one-off command line commands, but obviously you could do more elaborate scripting um, to set up sort of a more um, you know, robust test harness. But as an example, these will all be simple commands. So the first one is the simplest. I'm just going to pass along um, an HTTP request to the API in Alfresco to give me a ticket for the admin user. Now, keeping in mind this is a get and the user and password are query parameters and this is an HTTP call. So, um, not, it'd be basically be in plain text, but um, if you had HTTPS, it'd be secure. Now, I'm on my test server here, so I'm not too concerned, but just wanted to point that out. Um, so, we're going to make a simple call here. Um, we are calling the repository layer and then you um, basically calling the login script and passing it expects parameters user and then password. Um, so we're using the uh, good old admin admin. And you can see I made the call and it's already come back and returned to me um, a ticket. And I can now use this ticket value um, in additional calls or subsequent, subsequent calls um, to Alfresco. And this is the way to do it through a get. And I want to show um, using curl how you can also make a post. Um, so making a get can be very simple. You can just use curl and then pass the URL. Um, but there are a bunch of different command line parameters that are available, and I want to demonstrate at least how to do a quick post. Um, if you do use a post to get your ticket, um, Alfresco expects the username and password to be in the form of uh, JSON. And so we're going to tell Alfresco um, we're posting content type JSON, and then we'll provide the data for the JSON in the command line. It could be a file, but it's just as easy to pass it in the command line. And then we're going to pass the URL that we're calling. And we should get back a response with the ticket. So let me paste this URL. I've already written it. Um, so let's go through this real quick. Um, this is curl again. And then you're telling it I want to use a post explicitly. 
Um, and then you're telling in the header, I want to say content types application JSON. And then this is the data that you're going to pass along. And you can see I've made some JSON here, just username, admin, password, admin. And, um, and then this is the URL that we're going to use. So I had an inadvertent uh, carriage return in there, so let me, let me re resend this again. Uh, much better this time. Um, so you can see here we get back a JSON response with the ticket in the JSON. And I can actually now parse that. Um, the first request I had uh, cut and paste error with a carriage return, so I got a big stack trace back with a 400 error. Um, so now I have my ticket. Um, I can pass that along. And the basic syntax um, that Alfresco expects is for uh, you to pass along a parameter called alf underscore ticket. And um, that can be passed as a query parameter if you're doing a get, or it can be part of your form if you're doing a post. So now we're going to use this ticket to uh, call um, the, the uh, API that requires admin authentication. And by doing that, passing along alf ticket, we'll be able to uh, show that we're an admin user and it should run properly and come back with a result set. So I'm going to paste in a URL here that I've created. And you can see here, um, we're just passing one parameter. Now you could pass a whole bunch, right? It depends on what the post uh, needs. This one only expects, it uh, doesn't actually expect any parameters, but you do need to pass along um, alf underscore ticket and you can see I set it equal to ticket underscore and then the ticket value. Um, so when you pass this along it's going to sort of verify that you are the admin user. And again I've told curl explicitly that I want to do a post and then that this is the data that I want to post. And then that that's followed by the URL that I'm going to post to. So let's um, I'll hit enter here. And you can see it comes back with uh, information about my kind of useful actually information about my environment. Um, so it's pretty straightforward um, to do that. Now, again, if you were doing a GAT and it requires authentication, you would just pass alf underscore ticket as a query parameter. Um, so this is a really quick, easy way to write a couple of scripts to do some testing. And actually, to be honest, these are um, this is another way you could write scripts to do to pull uh, information about the repository. Um, just that's one of the reasons I looked at these is because it's kind of an interesting set of data. Uh, we have clients that uh, do uh, server monitoring, and this is a a neat way to get at some of the data from there. Um, I mean, obviously you can also use stuff like JMX, but um, this is a quick way to do some um, simple monitoring. So now we're going to do, that was a, a web script that required um, sort of a user authentication, actually admin level, but it could have easily been user authentication. Now we're going to do um, a script that really requires uh, no user, it's just a guest. Um, so I'm going to put that in here. and. This is just to get the uh, restrictions web script. So let me paste this. And you can see it's come back complaining um, that this, this request requires HTTP authentication. Uh, so you're basically like, hey, but I'm a guest. It's supposed to work. Um, but in reality, if you don't pass anything over, um, you will get this error if you don't pass uh, information that you're a guest. So what do you do here? Now one thing you can do is I already have my ticket. Um, I could pass that along and it should work just fine. Uh, obviously an admin user is higher than guest. Um, so a user or an admin could make a call to a script that requires guest access um, if you already have a ticket. And that may be the easiest way to go about it. However, there is a way uh, to easily specify that you're a guest and Alfresco should respond and run the web script. So here it's saying, even though it, it's a guest level authentication, you're getting a 401 back saying you require HTTP authentication. Um, if you don't want to use a ticket um, and you want to call a guest web script, there's an easy way around that. You just need to specify a parameter that says guest equal true, and we're going to use a get call here again. Um, but this time we've added guest equal true, and that tells Alf Alfresco that yes, this is a guest user. Um, and it should run this. And when you do that, then you can easily call uh, guest level web scripts. So let me do this again with this uh, query parameter added. And now it works just fine. Um, and it basically comes back with some data about the repository. 
Um, so I just wanted to show that as an example. It's a little tricky. Um, you know, the, the assumption is uh, it'll just map any request to guest if if there's no authentication provided, but you do need to explicitly tell it that that guest equal true, either in the query parameter or the posted uh, form data. Um, and once you do that, it should come back just fine. But you can see this is a really quick way, um, and, and there's a lot of depth to curl. It does a, a lot of really cool stuff. Um, but with just this little set of tools, um, you can easily make calls, gets, and posts um, as a guest or as a user or as an admin um, to do testing. And in this case, you know, let's say you wanted some simple information out of the repository, you could you could write a set of uh, scripts that basically would make curl calls to come back with the data in JSON format and then use this. So I hope this has been useful. This is one of those kind of simple things we keep in our uh, toolkit that we use all the time. It's basically something we use everyone, you know, pretty much all the time because it's so uh, easy to, to make quick calls and, and see what you get back. So I hope it's been helpful to you and I uh, hope you get a chance to try it out. And again, if you're uh, not on Linux and you're on Windows, you, you can easily download and install the Sigwin utility. Um, it provides a lot of the Linux command line tools on Windows. Thank you.